Hi everyone and welcome to our next video on Boolean logic. In the last video we looked at some examples of using basic identities and how we can use those to simplify Boolean equations. We're going to take a look at what we call useful rules. So a few things that we're going to commonly see. So we're going to call these useful rules. We're going to list them over on the left. You want to add these to your list of basic identities that you should always have close to you when you're simplifying Boolean expressions or equations. So let's take a look at the one on the left here. We've got inputs A and B and we've got output Z. A and B go into this AND gate here so we can represent this output here as A, B and we've got A that comes up and goes here and that goes in to the OR gate. So really output Z is equal to A OR with A, B. And I can take out a common factor of A and I'm just left with 1 plus B. Then I can look at my identities and recall that this 1 plus B here is really the same as X plus 1. X plus 1 is equal to 1. B plus 1 is equal to 1. Then referring to identity number 2, X times 1 is equal to X. In this case here, A times 1 is equal to A. So the output is really just determined by A. So what do we know? We know here that these two things are equivalent. And that can be useful later on when we're simplifying more complex Boolean equations. So we're going to write that as a useful rule. We're going to say that anytime that we see A plus AB, well really that's just equal to A. If we take a look at the one on the right here. It's basically the same circuit except we do have an inverter here. So going in to the AND gate here, this is going to be A naught. This is B and this will be A up here. So coming out of the AND gate, this will be A naught B. And so the output here is going to be Z is equal to A plus or ORed with A naught B. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna actually going to use the useful rule that we listed and figured out over here to actually simplify this one down. So watch carefully. What we're going to do is we're going to say well anywhere where we have A and where we have inputs A and B really that's the same as A plus AB. So actually I'm going to take this here and this is really equal to A plus AB. And then this here, I'm going to write plus A naught B. So if I write it without the brackets, it'll be A plus AB plus A naught B. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a common factor out of the second and the third term. I've got a common factor of B. So I'm going to take that out and what I'm left with is A plus A naught. And what I end up with is A plus B times in brackets. A plus A naught is the same as identity number 7. X plus X naught is equal to 1. A plus A naught is equal to 1. So what I end up with is that this is equal to A plus B. So in other words, this here is really equivalent to this. And I'm going to put that underneath our useful rules. Anytime we see A plus a naught B when we got two inputs A and B really that's equal to A plus B. So we're going to use those useful rules later on when we simplify more 
complex Boolean equations. That's it for this video. See you next time.